Okay, you're gonna tell me what I am, who I am, and where I live. No, thank you. No, thank you. Not today. Okay. Hello, my little honey, little baby, little sweetie, little angels. Uh, good morning. It's, well, it's morning here. I don't know what time it is when this video is reaching you, but good morning. And I just want to give a quick shout out to this user uh, for this lovely comment. Thank you so, so much for saying that I've had all this plastic surgery. I love the fact that I didn't have to pay for any plastic surgery, but people think that I've had it. So like, saving a lot of money, you know? So like, cool, awesome. Thank you so much for that. I really appreciate that compliment. Anyway, moving on, I am going to be reacting to Trisha Paytas's new video about her DID live footage caught on camera. Here's the thing, guys. I'm not here to hurt anyone's feelings. I'm not here to like hurt anyone, but at this point, I feel like we just need to treat Trisha as an entertainer because that's what she is. She's an entertainer. So let's stop believing that she believes she has DID. Let's stop believing that she thinks she's trans or whatever new thing she comes up with every week. She is an entertainer. So just take it for what it is, you know? Is she entertaining? Yeah, I think so. Do I want to take any sort of mental health advice from her or any sort of life advice from her? No. Nah. Not today, Satan. Yeah, I'm gonna react to this video. The last part of it is literally like her wandering around the kitchen eating, which is to me pretty standard for most of her videos. So I'm gonna skip that part. We're gonna go over the part where she's actually like talking. Okay, so the video starts out and she is just sitting there. I'm not gonna address the hate of the last video. I feel like I've already done that. Mm -hmm. Where I can, when I can, and what I can. Nothing I can do to change anyone's mind about my last video or like your opinions or your opinions. Okay, so let me save you from having to listen to that. So basically the first part of the video is Trish just being very down and talking about how she's not going to address the fact that people don't think that she really has DID and she's just exhausted and she's had such a trying day and this is a dramatization, but basically that's what she says. And then, all of a sudden, something happened. And it goes a little something like this. I don't, I don't even give a fuck if people call me crazy. Like, I'm crazy, but you're crazy too. Like, get over it. Like, it's just, girl, bye. Like, this is the internet. Like, okay, you're gonna tell me what I am, who I am, and where I live? No, thank you, no, thank you, not today. And do what I want. So I'm assuming this is tyranny. I peanut for what I want, or how much I want, and no one's gonna tell me different. I call myself crazy, Trish calls me crazy, Trixie calls me crazy, but you know it works in our crazy system, okay? So like, if you can't get over it, honey, then you have to get over you too, okay? Okay. So that's over and then she goes back to being somber Trish and then she inserts a clip of her like I said just literally wandering around the kitchen eating fruit roll-ups eating Cheetos eating whatever she can find so which I can totally relate to because that's what I'm about to do in a few minutes <laughs> I am not gonna give a lot of time to this video because I just feel like I'm not taking this seriously anymore I was trying to be very diplomatic and you know, not debunk what she was saying and not, you know, disregarding her feelings. And I'm still not disregarding her feelings. I just think that Trish is an entertainer and, you know, she's entertaining us. And whether you think it's entertaining or you don't, if you don't think it's entertaining, then don't watch it. Because chances are she is going to say something offensive. She is going to say something that hurts people. She is going to say something that you know, furthers the stigma of a marginalized group of people. It's just who she is. She's very uncensored and, you know, a lot of people love her for that. She doesn't have millions and millions of followers for no reason. That's all I've got to say about that, but I am going to put in a couple clips of things that she did say here um, in the video. So these are from a couple different videos. One is from her What's in My Whore Bag video. One is from her Dear Anthony Padilla video and the other is from this video 
And so I'm going to give just kind of my thoughts on those. For those of you who suffer from DID, of those of you in the DID community, you guys are awesome. You're so strong. You're so banded together on YouTube. And that makes me so happy. And the amount of love I've seen just in my videos covering this is amazing. It makes me like have a little bit of like sense of, you know, hope for humanity. I'm not saying I'm never going to talk about her again because I actually do find her entertaining sometimes. Uh, she's so out there and she is willing to just put everything out there and I, you know, I'm a therapist. I am very interested with the human mind so to me it's sometimes very very interesting and she does say offensive things. I happen to be a person that doesn't get offended very easily but I am very compassionate and understanding of people that do, you know, so so what she's doing is kind of, you know, walking a thin line for sure. I'm going to show you these clips. I'm going to show you my reaction. If you have not already, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. In this section of the video, Trish is coming across as Trish, although she is talking about other alters. I say those terms loosely with this. Um, but what it appears to be to me is she doesn't like the way that she acted and the video that she made towards Anthony Padilla and the people that she may have offended and she's putting that on Tierney and saying that she did it. Tierney definitely came out last week, last Friday when I made the Instagram and the YouTube video to Anthony Padilla. I, Trish, have nothing against him or disassociate ID. In fact, a girl that we dated actually came out with a video and I couldn't watch it and she sent me a really long message and Tierney decided to respond to that as well with really nasty, don't ever talk to us again. And that's just unfortunately part of it. What's up, you guys? Okay, hi. All right, are we all over being sensitive pricks here on the internet? Cool, I love that because guess what? I can talk and say about whatever I want. When it pertains to my life, I can say whatever I want. If it's my truth, it's my truth. If I want to call myself crazy, I'll call myself crazy. If I think someone else looks crazy, I'll call them crazy. Like, that's just it. That's how I... I'm not going to apologize. Crazy isn't an offensive word. And if it is, y'all need to go live in a bubble somewhere else. So this video, I think, demonstrates who Trish would like you to think that tyranny is. And as you can see, she's very nonchalant about everything. She's kind of rude. Um, but again, I think that this is just Trish on a different day. And she's putting her bad behavior on this fictitious altar that she's created named Tierney. Case in point, Anthony Padilla. Fuck you, Anthony. Fuck you for pretending to be some sort of mental health advocate to be a spokesperson for mental health and depression. You yourself saying you suffered from depression and anxiety. Oh, I could just be like, no, you didn't. You were fine. You were making videos. You have money. You look good. You don't look like you have depression. Fuck you, Anthony. But I don't care if this gets demonetized. Fuck you. You were someone I respected so much because you talked about depression and anxiety and you had all this like spotlight and stuff like that. So fuck you. And fuck you. Like acting like some sort of white knight. Claiming you have disassociative identity disorder is not cool excuse to mock people in the community and call them crazy. When did I mock them? And you know what? Hey, newsflash. Newsflash to you and disassociated ID, ID, the girl that I was talking about. You're on YouTube. Guess what? People are entitled to say whatever they want about your video. It's called freedom of speech. You put something out there, get ready to criticize, baby. All I said was like, yeah, like watching that, I could be like, oh, that girl seems crazy. You, you, you watched my video and you, were, you made an assumption saying I'm mocking people with disassociative identity disorder. What the f did you f***ing watch it, you dumb little prick? Did you watch the video? I have suffered with identity issues for so long. I never had an identity develop in my, like, I've never, I've never, I've been diagnosed with this, I've gone to things, you call it what you fucking want, multiple personality ID, which are also very true, se very separate things, which you did not get accurate, and I'm sorry, just because someone has disassociative identity disorder like this girl does in the, in the video, it doesn't mean she is the king all know it all, oh, you have DID, or I have it, you don't, Fuck you, Anthony, to be like, to mock so in this clip, it definitely seems like the Trish that we know from almost every other video that she's done. And it just seems like it, 
the Trish that we know, but she's angry, which is okay to be angry. But to put this on tyranny and say that tyranny, this is tyranny, um, just like the last clip that we saw. So basically anytime she has a bad behavior or behavior that she wished that she hadn't said something or done something, she's going to blame it on tyranny. And I also think that it's very hypocritical for her to point out that if you're going to put stuff on the internet, you're going to be criticized. Well, hello, that's what happened to her and she didn't like it. And now she's freaking out, as you can see. Um, and no, I don't think that Dissociated or any of the other system channels on YouTube, nor Anthony Padilla claim to be any sort of expert in anything. I think that they're just sharing their experience. And my advice for you, if you're learning something about DID or you want to learn about DID, definitely check out their channels before checking out Trisha Paytas's video. I agree that Trish definitely has some identity issues, but I do not think that it's related to DID. Also, she refers again to multiple personality disorder and dissociative identity disorder as not being the same thing and calling him out for making it seem like they're not the same thing. Again, guys, uh, multiple personality disorder is no longer a term that is used. I just want to give a shout out to everybody who has liked my videos, who has commented on my videos, who has subscribed to my channel. Easy, I've gotten like over a hundred thousand views on my first video and well not my first video but like my first video on this topic i was not expecting that at all i've been doing youtube just for fun and i love doing makeup i've done a lot of like unboxings and makeup stuff and i would still like to keep doing that but it doesn't seem like that's what people are watching but i don't really care because that's what i like doing also so Obviously, like, I'm a multifaceted human being. I have a lot of different sides to me. But I also did see a comment about my credentials. So I 100% agree that you should not listen to anyone blindly. Like, I'm a doctor. Listen to me. Like, how do you know? You know? So I just want you to go ahead and I'm going to put my license number down in the comments below. And you guys can feel free to look me up on the Florida Department of Health's website where every licensed person has their information posted publicly so therefore you guys can get maybe a sense of comfort listening to what I have to say I mean honestly just because I have letters after my name doesn't mean that I know everything I don't know everything and I'll be the first person to admit that learn and grow from people who are knowledgeable about things I think if you want to know anything about DID go to one of the DID system channels on YouTube that are informative and ed educational, you will learn so much more from them than you ever will from me. But I do like the fact that I'm able to somewhat validate some of the things that they're saying. I don't think that they should have to be validated, but I think that I'm, I'm glad I'm in a position to be able to validate a lot of the things they say because they're giving out a lot of really, really, really good information, guys. So if you have questions about DID, check them out. Not that I'm not open to answering questions about DID and other mental illnesses. I definitely am. And please let me know down below what you guys want to see next. Please do not forget to go out and give someone a compliment today. It will make you feel good. It'll make them feel good. And until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye.